Welcome to the show, Nolan. Hello. Whereabouts are you from? Uh, I'm from Cornwall. I've been oh. there since 2009. Right, OK. And what do you do for a living down there? Uh, I rent out camper vans and motorhomes. Nice. Yeah. All right. If you win some money today, what would you do with it? Uh, I'm going to buy some camels. <laughs> really? Yeah, they have uh, donkeys in Blackpool. For camels a little bit different. Get to the winter, I can rent them out for nativity plays. You're quite the entrepreneur, aren't you? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. How much is a cow? Depends. Good quality one, you're looking at about 15 grand. I need at least four, so I hope the chasers ought to give me a big offer. Crikey, where'd you buy them? Camel shop? I don't know. <laughs> Cross that bridge when we come. eBay. Yeah, that'll do. One camel. Don't like it anymore. <laughs> Got the hump with it. <laughs> right, you ready? Yeah. Cash build around, each correct answer is worth a grand. Good luck, Nolan. Your time starts. Now, someone who is easy to read is said to be an open what? Book. Correct. Which Olympic diver married his partner May 2017? Tom Pass. Daily. Only Fools and Horses actor Harry Merrifield was known by what first name? Buster. Correct. The plant Edelweiss takes its name from noble and white in what language? German. Correct. Who appointed Margaret Beckett as Foreign Secretary 2006? Pass. Tony Blair. The Total Perspective Vortex is a torture device in what series of sci-fi novels? Pass. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. 2017, Nestle failed in an attempt to trademark what four-fingered chocolate bar? Kit Kat. Correct. Laura Linney played a lovesick office worker in what Richard Curtis film? Pass. Love Actually. In terms of international passengers, what is the largest airline in the Middle East? Pass. Emirates. Which Colombian singer became a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador 2003? Pass. Shakira. Carolina Hearn played Weather Girl, Paula Fish on what TV sketch show? That would have been the fast show. Bad luck. OK, but it's not a bad start. Four grand. It's a good start. A bit of a weak finish. Time to face the chase up, but who will we playing today? Will it be the beast? He divides his time between the library and the gym. They've both got vending machines. Or maybe it's the Dixon so hot. The last time she was in a Sunday pub quiz, she cooked the meat raffle. Or could it be the Dark Destroyer, though? There he is. He's not bald. He just has the world's widest centre parting. Oh, I like that. Or perhaps it's the Cinnaman. He is the comedy doctor. If you think he's funny, it's probably the laughing gas. Or are we playing the governess? There she is now. Her good looks are striking. They've been on strike for ages now. Who do you want to take on? Um, I think it's more to do with how well I do, so I don't really mind. Um, but I'm hoping for Anne, I think. Time to bring on the chaser. <laughs> Not Anne at all. Here he comes. It's the Doctor himself, stand-up comic. One of the best players and quizzes in the world, it's the cinema, Paul Sinha. Hello, Nolan. Hello. Well, you're Hello. right, it is about how you do. You've come here to buy a camel, you've earned enough to get a hump. Just about. So I'm expecting you to go high.